Hey there! In this video, we're going to be talking about precision and recall, and how you can remember the difference between those two. Both precision and recall are classification metrics. With the classification model, you're trying to predict what class an observation belongs to. So in this video, we're going to be building our own classification model for apples and oranges. So before we get started building our classification model, we need some training data. Let's build a super sophisticated classification model. Okay, so here's how our model works. Anything on this side of the model will be classified as an orange. Anything on this side will be classified as an apple. Typically when we build a model like this, we want to evaluate it to see if it's doing a good job. One way to do that is with accuracy. With accuracy, we'll count up the total number that we got right and divide that by the total number of observations. So in this case, we got four oranges right, plus three apples. So those seven total observations were correct, but we had 10 observations overall. So our accuracy right now is 70%. But accuracy has some issues, especially with imbalanced classes. For example, if I had 990 oranges and only 10 apples, well, one model that would give me a really high accuracy would be to say that everything is an orange. That gives me 99% accuracy, but completely misclassifies all of the apples. So sometimes we need other metrics to evaluate our models. In this case, we're gonna talk about precision and recall, specifically for the apple class. To calculate precision for our apple class, we focus in on just the apple side of our model. So completely forget about this other side. Now that we've done that, we calculate the total number of apples we have divided by the total number of observations. So that's three out of five. And in this case, our precision is 60%. To calculate recall, however, now we focus in on all of the actual apples. So pretend like the oranges don't exist. Recall is determined as the number of apples you got correct out of all of the actual apples. So in this case, we got three right out of four actual apples. That means our recall is 75%. And that's it. <laughs> to calculate the precision for the apple class, focus in on the apple side of the model. We got three apples right out of five observations, so our precision is 60%. To calculate recall, however, now focus on all of the apples. Three correct out of four possible apples, so that's a recall of 75%. So what's the big benefit here over measuring just accuracy? Well, it turns out that there's a nice trade-off between precision and recall. Let's say that we wanted to make precision even better. Well, some models have what's called a decision threshold. That basically means that you can pick up your model and move it to a different decision threshold. Now, our precision is awesome. We have two observations classified as apples, and they're both apples, so our precision is 100%. But what happened to recall? Now we have two apples correctly classified out of a possible four apples. So our recall dropped to 50%. Okay, so what if we wanted to make our recall better? We could change our decision threshold and move our model down here. So now we have four apples and they've all been classified as apples. So our recall is 100%. But what happened to precision? Well, we have four apples out of eight observations being classified as apples, so our precision dropped to 50%. So this trade-off between precision and recall make it very powerful when building classification models. With precision, you can make sure that what you're saying is a positive actually is a positive, but with recall, you can make sure that you're not missing out on positive observations. So people often study both as they're building a model. In fact, a lot of people use a separate metric called an F-score, which is actually the harmonic average between precision and recall. So I hope you enjoyed learning all about precision and recall. 
Just remember that precision is the apple side of the table. Recall is all of the apples. If there are any other metrics that you're curious about, let me know about them in the comment section below so I can make videos about those as well. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.